Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Dental Edge. I am Dr. Bhanachak. I am an MDS in Oral Pathology and today we will be learning what is a dental formula and we will also learn the dental formula for human dentition. So let's understand what is a dental formula and why do we need a dental formula? Okay, so the denomination Denomination means the name of the tooth or the title, what type of tooth it is. The denomination and number of all mammalian teeth are expressed by a formula and this formula is called as dental formula. So the type of tooth and how many of these teeth are present in mammals, it is expressed by a formula and that formula is a dental formula. And why do we need a dental formula? This dental formula will be helpful to differentiate the human dentition from those of the other species. So all species they will have different dental formula. It will help us to differentiate which species are we talking about. We will be more concerned for dental formula for the human dentition. In this we will read it under two headings. First dental formula for the permanent teeth that is permanent human dentition okay and dental formula for the primary or the deciduous human dentition okay so we know that there are two sets of teeth a uh, primary teeth or the milk teeth or the deciduous teeth and the permanent teeth okay so let's first see dental formula for the permanent dentition how will we do that but before that you should know how many teeth are present how many permanent teeth are there in adults and uh, uh, what are their names okay so this is the maxillary arch the upper arch this is the mandibular arch we will divide this into four quadrants okay so this is the first quadrant this is the second quadrant this is the third quadrant and this is the fourth quadrant in each quadrant there are eight teeth eight permanent teeth okay so what are these eight teeth there are two incisors as you can see there are two incisors in the maxilla then there is a canine there is a canine then two premolars these are the two premolars then three molars okay three molars again if i see the mandible or the lower arch there are two incisors so there are two incisors this green one this is the canine so there is one canine there are two premolars there are two premolars and there are three molars right these are the permanent teeth present in each arch on each side so on both the sides there are eight teeth on right and left of the maxilla and eight on right and left of the mandible now while we write the dental formula we will consider only one side either the right side or the left side it is only given for one side okay now how did i got this formula let's understand this okay so these are the rules for writing a dental formula what are these rules the denomination of each tooth that is the type of tooth incisor canine whatever tooth it is it is represented by its initial letters so incisors are represented by i canine by c premolars by p and molars by m right this is how we write it so i stands for incisors c for canine p for premolars and m for molar while writing a dental formula now this is first thing then each letter or the each tooth type it is followed by a horizontal line so if you can appreciate in this dental formula this is the letter that denotes the type of tooth after the letter there is a horizontal line okay so first you write the tooth number uh, type by its initial letter then there is a horizontal line okay so each letter is followed by a horizontal line number of each type of tooth is placed above the line for maxilla so 
how many incisors are there in maxilla there are two okay so we will write above the line two and number of each type of tooth is placed below the line for mandible how many incisors are there in mandible they are placed below that so this is how we write it incisors two in maxilla and two in mandible then I'll write C that stands for canine. Okay, so we are done with incisors. We are done with upper and lower incisors. Now there are single one one canine. That C one horizontal line one. Then there are two premolars in upper and lower arch. So I'll write P, and after that two above and below, and there are three molars. So M followed by three. By three, okay. So this is the final formula, okay. I followed by two incisors above maxilla and below mandible canine. Again, a horizontal line above the horizontal line. Number of canines, so one canine uh, in maxilla, one canine in mandible. Then premolars. There are two premolars in the maxilla. Two premolars in the mandible, and coming to molars, three molars above in the maxilla, and three molars in the mandible, and eight and eight. So there are total sixteen teeth. Okay, on either side, either right or left. We'll write for one side. The formula includes only one side. Okay. Now let's see for the primary or deciduous dentition now in primary teeth you should remember that there are no premolars so there are no premolars remember this point in a uh, primary uh, dentition or in primary teeth there are no premolars what teeth are present in primary teeth if you appreciate in this image we'll see for one side okay right or left so there are two incisors okay in the maxilla and mandible So two incisors maxilla, two incisors mandible. Then there is one canine in maxilla and mandible one in mandible. Then there are two molars, okay, in maxilla and in mandible. Fine. Same rules as we read for the uh, permanent dentition. We follow all the same rules. Formula is all always includes one side. So we'll write for one side. Okay. So there is incisor. I stands for incisor. I told you the type of tooth is denoted by the first letter, so I stands for incisor. Two in the maxilla, two in the mandible. Okay, there is a horizontal line, and above is the maxilla, below is the mandible. Then coming to canine, so canine one above, one below. Then there are no premolars, only molars. So M and two molars in the maxilla and two molars in the mandible. So on each arch. in each side there are 5 5 tooth so total 10 teeth are there okay i hope you understood it so let's just summarize okay this is for the primary tooth okay so primary two incisors one canine two molars in the upper arch and again two incisors one canine and two molars in the lower arch how do we write the formula the formula is incisor we write i Then a horizontal line, number of teeth in maxilla two above, in mandible two below. Okay. Then we write C for canine, one in canine above, one canine below, and then molars, two molars above and two molars below. This is for the uh, primary teeth. Okay. Then for the permanent teeth, as we know, there are two incisors, one canine, two premolar, and three molars above. And two incisors, one canine, two premolar, and three molars below. So, I stands for incisors, two above, two below. Okay, canine one one, then premolar, two above, two below, and molars three above and three below. So this is how we write a dental formula. Okay. one more thing how do we read this formula if i tell you for the primary dentition this formula should be read as incisors two maxillary and two mandibular canines one maxillary and one mandibular molars two maxillary and two mandibular this i am talking for the primary dentition or 10 all together on one side okay so 10 teeth on 
one side either right or left this is how we'll read this formula i hope this video was helpful and uh, now you will understand what is a dental formula if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more such videos please do subscribe to my channel thank you